Today I'm going to be showing you how to get and use this Pink Axe Lumber Tycoon 2 GUI script. Enjoy! So once you guys join the Discord in the description where it says script, you're going to want to first verify your account on this Discord by clicking the command that everybody else is going to be doing. You guys will know what I'm talking about when you join. And then you're going to want to go to LT2 script and then copy the script. And then you guys are going to want to load into the game and I'm going to be using Synapse X as you guys can obviously tell right there. You guys can also use Synapse X but it does cost $20 but you guys can have a chance to get it for free and all you need to do is leave a like, make sure to be subscribed and make sure to leave a nice comment on the new videos you guys watch and do that until we hit the next subscriber goal which is currently 40k so if you guys keep doing that until we hit 40k you might have a chance to enter the list for the synapse X giveaway but anyways let's attach synapse uh, let's paste the script and then of course let's execute it and now as you can see here's the UI so we have lots of options so we have just the home we have local player we have duping we have base tools we have items we have game we have miscellaneous TP players base shop and of course auto buy now let's start off with of course the home so you guys can change the toggle GUI button so we can change it to right shift or left shift or we can or, or not those buttons but we can change it to pretty much any button to make it the toggle GUI you can also join the discord of course you can rejoin the game by clicking here or destroy the UI which means close it here are all the credits of course right there guys there you go and of course uh, the other mentions all right so let's start off with the local player all right so first off we have teleport to base i don't have a base because i haven't really played this game on this account but uh, i'll show you that when we do get one uh, first off we have walk speed so pretty self-explanatory we can change how fast we're walking we also have jump power we can ch change how high we jump so the more we turn it up the higher we jump once again pretty straightforward uh, let's move on to fly which if you guys cannot tell it is fly <laughs> we're flying around and we can change how fast we fly that's so fast uh, and it's definitely handy if you guys are trying to go like up to that mountain or something uh, it's super fast so you can get there really fast and if you guys can see this is my normal jumping but if you turn on infinite jump I jump in infinitely so it's pretty cool and it's definitely handy to just have on because it's not like super crazy like fly but it is really handy because like if you just wanted to get on this building real quick just like that you got on but with fly you're just going to be zooming around so it's pretty cool next we have no clips as you guys can obviously guess you cannot go through this wall but if you do turn on no clip you can walk straight through everything uh so you can walk through all the buildings through all the mountains through all these weird rock things <laughs> through all the trees you can walk through anything now we have some of the button options like temporary blueprints so we can give ourselves all the blueprint stuff we can give ourselves a teleport tool so if we equip it and we click somewhere we teleport so that's pretty cool uh, and then don't forget about B tools pretty classic alright so here we go we can copy and we can also of course delete and we can also move them around if we select them hello there we go. I don't know where it went. Okay. Well, there it is. Uh, okay. Well, you got, you guys get that. All right. <laughs> you can move and you know, it's pretty cool. You can move the shops and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to get to that later. Oh, he's reporting me. Oh no. How, how terrible. Dude, I, now, how am I going to get this? Okay. You know, I, it still works. He's reporting me guys. Oh no. All right. So we also have duping. So of course we can dupe our axe. So let's get this axe real quick. Oh my gosh, I had my B tools equipped. Now everything is gone. Okay, there we go. We're good. We just bought the axe and here we have our axe. All right, pick it up. There we go. We got that axe, okay? And we can dupe axe by, of course, turning it. <laughs> uh, there we go. And give it a second and for me to reload and respawn and all that. So here we are and let's... Here we are, two axes. As you guys can tell, I have two different axes, and now I can toss, or, you know, toss it out. I don't know how to toss it out. But you guys see that I obviously have two axes in my inventory. We also have slot saving, so we can auto save even faster than before, so I really like that. And this is onto the base tool option. So uh, let me buy a base and let me grind real quick. 
All right, guys, finally, after like, um, I don't know how that, how long that took. It took like, I don't know. It took, it took some time to mine those trees, like legit. But anyways, we finally have a hundred dollars, which means we can finally buy a house. But it seems like moving the NPC broke it. So actually, I don't think we can. Uh, let's hope like the NPC thing shows up here. It doesn't. So I'll show you that later, guys. So we can also get trees so we can select what tree we want so we can do the generic and we could click on get tree i should have used this earlier i didn't <laughs> that's what i should have done but anyways you guys you see what it teleports you and it brings you back to where you were so pretty much you'd be like sitting in our base right and we click on get tree we start mining and we bring it back to our base so i think this is definitely pretty handy or if you just want to stand in front of the shredder either one uh so this seems pretty cool and of course you can change what tree of course you can do all of these uh, so pretty awesome we can also of course teleport the logs that we have to our person and then we can teleport the ones that we own to the grinder uh, I don't know if these will fit but yeah anyway uh, we can also teleport all the planks that we own of course we don't have any and of course sell them we can also use mod axe method so we can have a better axe i sure to use that too let's move on to the game options so of course we can go to any of these shops so the land store is a little broken because i moved it over there but yeah let's ignore that we can also go to this guy i don't know any of these shops but anyways you can literally just teleport to any or you want and go to those shops you can of course also go to all the wood areas so we can go to like the ice volcano we can go to the end time oh my oh i'm dying help guys help oh okay oh the volcano killed me faster right well we died but you guys get the idea of course we can also teleport to the all these miscellaneous places like you know the bird house or the lighthouse and the spawn and stuff like that we can also make it always day i'm gonna use that because i don't want it to be night or you guys can also always night it your choice you can also turn off all the fog uh it's I don't know I'm gonna turn it off just for now and you can also make the water solid so pretty much you can walk on the water uh, pretty cool let's have gray auto build so we can literally auto build all these things so we can auto build the, the woods or us we can auto build the pyramid a castle a basic wall an airplane it's really cool how you can auto build all these things and of course you can auto fill in all the blueprints of gray we can also add better graphics so it will try to make better graphics for the game and of course we can delete the water if we really want so you guys can see there's the water it's all gone and we can also remove all the trees in the map i honestly have no idea why you'd want to do this because the whole point of the game is to break trees but if you really want to of course we also have miscellaneous so uh let's say we want to kick one of these people so like Let's say I want to kick, I got banned, all right? Kick, and if you guys give it a second, they should get kicked. There they are, and uh, I don't know where they went. And we can, of course, also kill them. So, pretty self-explanatory. And <laughs> we were like spectating, he's, he's so confused what's going on. We can also uh, change the kill method to volcano, ocean, volcano, any of those stuff, all right? And we can also spawn all the leaked items right here and anti-blacklist. We can also teleport people to the places so we can teleport the I got banned guy to the woods or us. Ouch, I just died. Oh, no, I spawned inside the sawmill. That's not good. Uh, I mean, I'm almost out. Hello? Well, we will we'll continue from the inside of a sawmill. Uh, we also have base drop. So once again, this does work better in a VIP server, but we can choose what base and we can set the coordinates and the hatchet right here. You can choose all that stuff and we can destroy coordinates or base drop items. And lastly, we have auto buy. So like we can auto buy any of these things that you guys choose. Of course, just choose the thing that you need and you can choose the amount that you want to buy and purchase. Really handy options if you oh we escaped all handy option if you guys are like kind of more advanced in the game and you guys are trying to get better you know kind of so hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below remember we are trying to hit 40k now so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and thank you to all my members right here
Thank you guys for joining the channel, it really does mean a lot, and hopefully you all can join the channel too. Thanks for sticking along till the end, and hopefully I will catch you all in the next one. See you guys.